And today, people around the world are remembering the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And today History. marks 55 years History. since the late Trying civil rights leader us. was assassinated in Memphis, Tennessee. And just in the last few hours, the King Center here in Atlanta held a wreath laying ceremony to honor his memory and his mission. Atlanta is where Dr. King was born. It's also where he is now buried. And today, his youngest daughter, Reverend Dr. Bernice King, was in attendance to speak about the legacy her father holds and how it will live on for years to come. But he didn't die. He transitioned to a higher realm. And the reason I think this world has not come apart is because the spirit of Dr. King has been dispersed and dispensed throughout this universe. And the King family says the root of Dr. King's message is to use love to transform the world around us. And Dr. King also had what some call a second dream dedicated to economic equality. And 11 Lives Karis Belger shows us how his work is still living on right here at home. An often overlooked part of Dr. King's legacy is his push for economic growth in the black community. In his very last speech, he pushed people to put their money behind that cause. And I've looked over and I've seen the promised land. As a society, we like to cherry pick the parts of his speech and parts of his work that are more palatable to us. Shanae Joseph's passion for pushing towards black economic equity goes beyond showing black artists' works at the Hogger Brooks Gallery on Auburn Avenue. Artists, farmers, um, tech, all of those different industries that we appreciate should also have an opportunity to um, grow and thrive economically. As the CEO of the Historical District Development Corporation, she's working to create opportunities to bring more money into the black community. Coretta Scott King founded this organization to ensure the non-displacement of black people within the Martin Luther King Historic District. One of her priorities is overseeing this gallery full of black art and working to make the art business more accessible to black artists. A piece of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s work, Joseph says, is often overlooked, but that's no less crucial to his legacy. He was a crusader for um, anti-poverty. That was something that was really important to him. In his last speech, in support of a sanitation worker strike, King spoke of the process of building a greater economic base and putting pressure where it really hurts, asking the black community to follow through here. Melvin Coleman, CEO of Atlanta Black Chamber, says that message still rings true today, with policy also as a key part. Uh, we've got to stay committed, committed to doing whatever you can do as an individual in the decisions that you make. Beyond just providing support for black artists, the Historic District Development Corporation's initiatives also include pushing for more home ownership. I'll have more on that later on at 6. In Atlanta, I'm Karis Belger, 11 Alive News.